Money down back with another video, and today, and today, baby, today is gonna be about how life, uh, how life is becoming hard for me, but I'm pushing through it, and how life was hard for me, and I pushed through it. So no further ado, let's get into the video. So. Today is going to be a video about how LARF, I keep saying LARF, where is LARF coming from? Um, but anyways, I want to talk about, like I got a missing tooth. I don't y'all, I don't. But, anywho, so y'all, today is going to be about how life became hard for me, or is hard for me. And so... As if anybody used to, if anybody knew who I was, I say was because it was past tense. Everybody, if anybody knew who I was, they know I went through depression and anxiety. And what do, what do, what other, what do, that stuff ain't no joke. But one thing about it is, I don't go around screaming what I have because at the end of the day, what do I do? Smile, joke, laugh all the time. So why should I break this down to y'all? People think it's a game anyway, so... I put something out there anyways. If everybody think everything is a game. Oh, they don't know what depression is. They think it's a game. It's that and the third, third, and this and that and the third. Yeah. They ran tests. Big tests on me. I'm a little more than what everybody thinking. And I'm not even going to get into that because I don't want nobody thinking of me differently. Because at the end of the day, I still maintain as a person that's normal. So as I'm normal to myself, so I should be normal to anybody else. So, yeah. So, I used to... uh be on depression pills and all them other things, all them other pills. I was on four pills, but I don't take none of them no more because it was not for me. It made me somebody I really wasn't, like, and I'm like, pills not the go-to situation. Everybody going to have an up and down. And it seems like to me, I'm hearing a lot of dep people, depression, depression, depression. That stuff ain't no joke. So for everybody saying they feel like they got depression or they depressed or they feeling like this and then the third, y'all making yourself feel like that. Because depression goes farther than what it is. You can become depressed. You become, it's a difference between depression and depressed and angry. You're angry because your boyfriend broke your heart. But if you, um, uh, depressed, de depressed is when, um, you're going through things right now, but you're under it. Like, you're just not feeling yourself, but it's not really depression. Like, you're depressed, like, man, why, type of thing, but depression, I feel like, this is the way I describe it, so don't, don't mark my words for it, but this is the way I describe it, because when I see things happen like this, I just go on to talk about it, because I'm like, dang, they don't even know what they be talking about, and it's like, I, only reason I say that, because I went through depression, to lead me to depression, to get depressed, I'm sorry, I don't know how to really put the D and the E together. It's just like my, my language is a little messed up. But anyways, I would had depression. And it didn't come from a relationship thing. It didn't come for, from um from a this and that and the third. My depression came from, me personally came from me stressing, struggling and stressing because I wasn't getting good grades. I couldn't maintain. I don't like to stay focused. And... Everything wasn't, like, anything you say to me would tick me off. So, it's like, every little word you say, if you told me to shut up, I'm instantly from here to here in no matter of time. So, it's like, so I'm like, that's where I know what depression was, but I didn't care. I didn't go to the doctor telling the doctor I feel down, I feel out, I feel weak, I feel this because of this, because of that. I didn't go to the doctor like that. My mama went to the doctor's and was like, I don't know, but she's so angry. I don't know why she's so angry. Anything somebody do, she does not want to be around her sisters. She don't like to go outside. She stay in her room all the time. See, the difference is, I see people, the people that say they're depressed, I see them, they used to be, they used to party. They used to go outside. They used to 
hang out with their friends. They used to kick it, and they used to just stand in the third, and they used to have all of many boyfriends that stand in the third, and then they stand in the woo through. I'm like, okay, cool. Me, I didn't have a relationship with nobody. Nobody. No boyfriend, my mom, my granny, my papa, my dad, my sisters, my brother. I had a relationship with nobody because you want to know why? I didn't want to. It Well, it's the way I feel. It's the way I felt. Like, I didn't feel like I wanted to be around anybody. I didn't feel like I wanted to be around anybody, talk to anybody. I didn't want to go to no family gatherings. I uh, sit in my room. I wouldn't even be on Facebook. I sit in my room all day and sleep. And if I wasn't sleeping, I'd just sit in my room sitting there. Just sitting there. To be sitting there looking at y'all like this. The way I'm looking at y'all right now, I'm interacting. I'm talking. I'm letting you guys know something. I just sit in my room all day. And if I wasn't asleep, I was just sitting in my chair. I wasn't even really on my phone. And if I was on my phone, it was playing music. It was playing music. That's about all I did was play music. And I stayed to myself no matter what. Day and night come in. Nobody came. Couldn't, nobody come in my room. And I would ne never touch the floor outside. Like, out my room. Like, to go to the bathroom, yes. And I hurry up and go in the bathroom. And I run back in my room. I didn't want nobody in my room. I didn't want nobody by me. I didn't like sitting on the same couch as anybody because I feel weird. Like, I instantly just felt like I wanted to be in my own room. So then I catch attitude and walk outside and go sit in the car by myself because I didn't want to be nowhere. Like, that's really a real life thing of depression. Like, that's why I'm like, when people be out here talking about stuff, they don't even know what they're talking about. They become depressed over a dude. They become depressed because they feel like the world is crashing down on them. But before that, before you became depressed, what was you really doing? Was you out here having fun? Was you out here? My whole life, I sat in my room because I didn't want to be around nobody. And I had, it was more of a bully situation. I always got bullied. So it's like, I stayed to myself. So I don't say depression is fake. And I don't say for everybody it's fake. But I see, I see the differences. I see when people faking their depression because they feel bad. They feel like they depressed. They feel, they using the word because they know what depression, they think they know what depression is. So they just say, I'm depressed. I feel this. I feel that. Yeah. Difference between actions. That's why they say actions speak louder than words. The thing is, the difference is I was showing it. I wasn't saying it. I didn't want to say it. I didn't even want to own up to the fact that I was irritated by everybody. I didn't own up to it. When I went to the doctor and they asked me, they, that was my first test, my first paper test. They gave me a first paper test and it was like, do this. So what's really bothering you in your brain? Nothing. And, but this was my sprung, this is what my response was because I was so under it and out of it. I didn't even want to be in the doctor's office for too long. He was like, what's going on with your brain, you feel like? Nothing. So why would you ask me that dumb question? What's going on with your brain? Like, that was my response. Like, I had a smart-ass attitude for no reason. Like, for no reason. Like, because I didn't want to be around nobody. I was happy, yeah, alone. I was happy alone, but I never was happy around people. I fake it. If I was faking it, it would be for a certain amount of time. Because as soon as somebody says something, I went from this, I went from this to this. So it was like... I didn't see it at the time, but as time got on, I was to see the way I act. I can say I was depressed. I still can't go through that phase. I still be going through that phase sometimes, but it's like I hold it back because I know I still got things to do. And I don't think I, I got to accomplish things in life. I didn't want to do nobody. That's why I'm not promoting my things that I do. I don't promote my hair, my nails, my eye, I don't, my eyelash. I don't even want that. I don't even do my makeup. So I don't promote it. Like I don't say, oh, you can come to me and that's not because you want to know why. I get so frustrated from doing anything for anybody. I don't want to do nothing for nobody. I do it for myself. I don't want nobody helping me, and I don't want to help nobody. So, like, it was really bad. But when I got to work, and that's when it broke me out of it just a little bit. Because then when I was in work, it became, like, everything more strict, strict, strict. So, it got to be done this way. It got to be done that way. So, it really wasn't doing nothing but opening me up to be more stuck. That's what I, I don't know how to put it. Like, more stuck. Like, I was more stuck. Like, I don't know how to put that, but I was really out of it. Like, I was real life out of it. And I'm talking about it today because I see a lot of it going on in a lot of time, but I just sit back. I'm like, people be like, yeah, I'm depressed. I got depression pills, and it's not the third. And we'll do it. You won't even hear me talk about them. You won't even hear me speak a word on it. You won't hear me say, well, I was on depression pills, and I was on anxiety, this, and that, and the third. And I was on this, that, and the woo and the bam, bam, woo -thi -hoo. You don't even hear me say that. When we have a conversations in the table and I hear somebody talk about they got depression, I just listen. 
Because I still hate the fact that I had went through that situation. And I feel like I became different from everybody else. Because I was already in everybody else's eye different. But then I really became different. People don't understand the difference between me feeling different and became different. I was already feeling different. Then I became different. So I really was really under it. Because at this point, not only am I always going to be by myself, now I'm taking pills for me not to be by myself. Like, what? Because then, then when, I don't, when I don't take the pills for one or two days, I instantly got to throw things. I instantly got to want to fight somebody. I instantly want to do something to hurt everybody else because I want to hurt myself, but I don't want to, but I do. But at that moment, I can't let nobody see me hurting myself, so I want to hurt somebody else. So it's like... I was really angry. Just, I was really angry. Y'all don't even understand how angry I was. Because people be looking at me now, and the only the only thing they know of me, they be like, she don't play. She don't play. Let me tell you about this old time. Yeah, that's my old times. That's my old times, because I had to learn how to break through that. That was something I had to learn how to do, was to break through my own depression, the press the wall at whatever you want to call it like i still don't sit up there we sit at the table we in school we still talk about i still heard a lot of kids i'm depressed mister i'm depressed miss i'm depressed you're depressed because of what you're depressed because you don't have your boyfriend you're depressed like at this moment some days i'd be wanting to get rid of my boyfriend because i'm not even gonna sit here and lie to you i like i prefer to be in my room alone like i be ready to go by myself, but it's like everywhere I go, he goes. So it, it really, really triggers me. Y'all know how this go. Like, comment, subscribe. What it is, what it ain't. Motherfuckers know what it is. See you, sweet dolls.